stays off, but on that one, Bledsoe trying to set the screen, but I've said he just held him a little bit. Sensky threw that up there. I didn't think Wendell Carter was going to be able to reach that. But he's got quite the wingspan. Nice dunk. Turn to the rebound. He finds Sadoransky. Sadoransky did some nice things with Washington. Chicago expecting to. Yeah, it's never easy playing a team two, two times in five days. And there is no doubt it's at an advantage or helps the team that lost on the second game. It does hurt. That they're and defensively, they've been overwhelming against Chicago and Indiana, guarding in the paint. If they can do that, they're not going to miss shooting the three balls much. Carter Jr. completely, and the Bucks defend well. Yeah, that's tough. You get by Giannis out on the perimeter, he's still on your hip, and then you got to go through Brooke, Brooke Lopez. That's why this is a good defensive team. Lopez went to the. Gives it up. Bunched up when Corver got it, couldn't get the shot away, and he doesn't need much space. That's so point blank from Giannis, doesn't go. Quickly ahead, Chandler Hutchison. A deflection at Indiana. Bledsoe unable to score on the run out. Good pass right there by Dante. Oh. Wendell Carter Jr. They figured out they just played each other, so some of that advantage goes away. A lot of reading and reacting going on. Bledsoe just picked up his second foul. It was an offensive foul. Eric brings it up. The Bucks doing a good job shutting off the drive by Chandler Hutchison. Game clock under 10 minutes now in the third quarter. Zach Levine challenges Brooke Lopez and loses. Wendell Carter Jr. got the rebound. Back out for the three, missed by Sadoransky. Giannis down goes Markin. No whistle. Two big bodies on the floor. Sadoransky quickly the other way. Picked up defensively and nicely picked up by Matthews. And again, this time at Sadoransky. He's close. I just feel like the more likely Giannis is to take over. He shot the three ball decent, and he scored inside. He's positioned to have Markin in questioning where he should be, what he should be doing. Be able to get what he wants late in the game. He's showing with flip shots, Archie Yakin with threes, are scoring in a bunch of ways, and I think they believe they can win this game right now. They've lost a lot of games that they felt that they could have won. Won that by nine. Up seven. Patty is young, tricky dribbles, great pass. Hutchison can't hit the reverse. Wendell Carter, no basket. Foul. Being to get easy buckets. Done with his fourth foul. Giannis makes the free throw. The Bucks lead by eight. Wendell Carter denied by the defense. The Bucks all over Carter. That's for Sterling Brown tonight. Another solid effort. 7.58 remaining in the fourth quarter. And George Hill will be called for a foul. And a hand on that. Brooke Lopez was there. Giannis with a high dribble, he leaves it for Lopez. Deep three, doesn't go. Carter has the rebound for Chicago. Now Kobe White, Archie Diakono lets it fly and hits. Chance thought he might have been able to get a steal, but gave Kobe White too much space. He'll get a three right out of that timeout. Even Chenzo takes a corner three, it's over the top. Chicago can tie with a deuce, lead with a three. White takes the three. Of eight at the free throw line. Milwaukee leading by six. Ryan Archie Diakono flips it up. Wendell Carter couldn't get a good hold of it. against the Bulls. Giannis took a look at the shot clock. Working hard. Whistle. No basket. Getting the block, getting the steal, that's big time. But just that, the Bulls seeing him back there is going to limit them. Eric Bledsoe, drive, scoop, nothing. Zach Levine picked up. He lets the three fly. Archie Diakono 